Hello, I'm here to give you a detailed look at the Dark Knight Returns Batman from Mattel. Here's the front, here's some packaging, and here's the back card. And you could pause and read the bio. So here he is, and let's get him out of packaging. And here he is out of packaging. His head is on a ball joint, so it can move forward and back, left to right. It does spin 360 degrees around. His shoulder is on a ball hinge joint, it can move in and out, forward and back. It does spin 360 degrees. On uh, the bicep, it spins 360 degrees, it's on a hinge. And his, it does bend at the elbow. His wrist spins 360 degrees. At the waist, it moves forward and back. It would move 360 degrees around if it wasn't for the utility belt. At the, on the leg, he does have a uh, ball hinge joint. Moves forward and back, in and out. Bends at the knee. At the boot, it can move left to right. It would move 360 degrees if it wasn't for the little topping here. And his, at the ankle, it can move forward and back. Not so good for my figure. It's kind of stuck at the moment. And there it is. Here's the cape. I found it to be kind of stiff, but overall it's a good figure. And here is the head sculpt. It's a pretty nice figure. Could have used a little bit more detail, but that's alright. I don't mind it. So far it's one of more one of my more favorite Batman figures. So for more characters like this. You could go to maddiecollector.com and you should be able to find figures from the New 52 to the Injustice. And that's my toy review of him and let's get him into a few poses and do a size comparison. Here he is next to Superman from the New 52. Batman would, looks to be about a quarter of an inch short. And if you enjoyed this review and you'd like to see more reviews, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I put out new videos every week. And that will be my toy review for this week. Thanks for watching.